Hi guys, Rich Page, our Jemison Timber Frame Company, the main timber framer. Want to show you a little bit about how to center a tenon cut or a mortise cut on your timbers. Uh, sounds, sounds easy enough, but when you're working with rough timbers, what you're going to find is your timbers may come out to seven and seven, eight sometimes. Maybe they're going to be eight and an eighth. Maybe they're a quarter inch off. And when that's the case, then you've got to fight with your square a little bit and say, you know, how do I get that tenon centered? If your tenons aren't centered or your mortises aren't centered, when you go to fit your timber frame up, it's not going to fit together. You're going to fight it. You're going to be pounding and slugging. And that's really not the idea on how to put these things together. So how to get this perfectly centered on your timber is what you want to do, regardless if your timber is a little bit off, knowing that you're going to be using rough lumber. So let me show you a jig I made uh, to center the tenons. Okay, I can't remember where I saw this. Uh, I made one out of wood. I had it for years and then I worked with a friend who was a machinist and we came up with this one which is aluminum one inch angles here uh, and uh, a couple of quarter inch pieces of aluminum here quarter by two and this is a framing square and I cut the uh, the short ear off on one end right here and you got to cut that off flush and true make that make that square. So with this jig, where I made my marks is at the five inch mark and at the, uh, at the what is it, 19 inch mark here, drilled a hole directly in the center of the square. Uh, and at the same time, from those marks, five inches in on this aluminum piece and this aluminum piece, five inches in and then on the 19 on this end. So these holes between the square and these two are exactly the same. So then what I, what I took was a measurement somewhere between here and here, and I think this measurement is six inches. I said, okay, let me drill these aluminum pieces here at six inches exactly on both sides centered on the square. So when you use this, if you put it together, it should come together perfectly like this. Okay, so now how does this work? Wow, this thing is the cat's meow. So when you put this on your timber, you've got these edges here for the one inch aluminum on the shoulder, put it on your timber and it centers automatically. So I've already scribed my lines on this, but when you put this on here, uh, if, you, if you hit the edge and you don't get centered, you can see here that you're off your line, but when you get this set in here and it can slide down any way you want. So whether you're cutting a mortise or if you're cutting a tenon, this will get you centered. What's important about being centered is, is the alignment. Like I said, when you're assembling your timber frame, you don't want to have your mortise or your tenon off a quarter inch. When you go to put it together, you're fighting it on an angle, uh, you're pounding and so forth. So that's not what you want to do. So a jig, centering your mortises, centering your tenons. Uh, you can also use this on the ends. Of your of your timbers so like this take your pencil scribe your line here you can slide it down as long as you're staying tight on your timber scribe your line on this side now you have a continuous line from here down to here and the lines match up and that's where you need to make your cuts so uh, if you don't have one of these you haven't made one take a look at what I've described you want to have one of these in your shop because whether your timbers are perfect at your 8 inch mark your 6 inch mark or they're a little off because uh, uh, the soldering is, uh, is rough sawn and it's not perfect, you want to make one of these and you'll get a perfectly centered uh, mortise or tenon every time. Thanks for watching. If you get a chance, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give some feedback if you like it good. If not, uh, give me some feedback. Thanks for watching.